You are watching William Patterson University Television. Oh, welcome back to the desk. Today we have Jimmy, Mark, Ryan, and Joe to break down all on the gridiron. Now, gentlemen, we have two. We're gonna we're about to talk about two of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history right here. You know, one of these guys, Tom Brady, is going insane. He's first in, uh, I believe, in projections to win the MVP. Aaron Rodgers, number twelve for the Green Bay Packers. He's three. The Bucks have a 30% chance to win the Super Bowl, and the Packers have a 20% chance. So, this, you know, we have a lot going on. And, Jimmy, I'll start with you. Who would you rather take going forward? Would you rather take Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? Well, there's no wrong answer here. Both going to go in Canton, Ohio in the Hall of Fame. But let's take a look at their stats here on the season. Absolutely killing it. Tom Brady, 8-3. and three, Rodgers, 9-2. and two. 66 and 67 completion percentage, respectively. Tom Brady is killing it with 3,400 3, passing yards. Rodgers did miss a game. 30 touchdowns and 23. Rodgers only has four interceptions on the season, though, compared to Brady's nine. Both great at taking care of the football. Yeah, well, you know Aaron Rodgers, he's known for that four-to-one interception, touchdown interception ratio. So, you know, he's always going to keep the interceptions down. But what's coming, Brady, 30 touchdowns at this age. That's insane, right, Joe? For yeah, somebody I mean, who's been in the leagues for so long. And I agree with Jimmy. I mean, listen, both are great quarterbacks, both went to Hoffman. But when you look at Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay is nothing without Aaron Rodgers. Go back to the Chiefs game, right? He wasn't playing. Jordan Love was in. They couldn't get nothing going. And listen, hot take for me right here. I think Brady is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, but Aaron Rodgers, probably one of the better skills quarterbacks of all times. The greatest, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah interesting. Definitely up there. Mark? Yeah, I definitely agree with both men, but I think I'm going to go Brady. Right now, just seeing how he's able to uncork the deep ball after relying on that short and intermediate pass so much in New England, seeing as how his arm isn't damaged from you know, playing in New England, he can still uncork the deep ball at his age, and it's crazy to see him doing that right yeah. now. So I'm going Brady. Right. I'm going Rodgers because it's all about consistency. I mean, ever since that first dud of a game against the Saints, he's been on fire. Brady in the last couple of weeks, he's my fantasy quarterback, so I should know, <laughs> it's kind of been going like this a little bit. But Rodgers has just been straight-laced yeah. um, ever since uh, he was uh, – Immunized. Immunized, right? yes. 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 <laughs> well, to keep it in the NFC, gentlemen, another team that's been really hot, just like those two teams, and they started, they started struggling. We have the San Francisco 49ers. They've, you know, they defeated the Minnesota Vikings in a barn burner last Sunday. You know, they put up 30 points in that performance. They beat the Rams a couple of weeks ago when they had their full squad. Mark, is this team for real? Because, you know, they were in the Super Bowl a couple years ago. I believe so. I think the 49ers are for real. And if we look at, you know, the 49ers and their record of 6-5, and five, Seeing that and looking at the rest of their schedule, they got the Bengals, Falcons, Titans, Texans, and the Rams. I think those are all winnable games for them. Absolutely. You know, two in their division, that's going to be a weird thing. You know, looking at the points per game, that's interesting as well. 25, that's, that's decent. 11th ranked offense, that's pretty good for them right yeah. now. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, listen, the 49ers team, early struggles, right? Everyone thought, like, what's going on with the 49ers? Jimmy Grapple is slacking. They drafted Trey Lance, the backup. He'll study off Jimmy. But uh, one thing about uh, Shannon has been doing, He's a great man. He adjusts. He adjusts the team. Look at her now. They're sitting 65, one game above 500. One guy, though, I do say Debo Samuel. Great guy, big impact on that offense, but he's hurt now. so Yeah, there's going to be tough, gentlemen, without him. I believe he's going to be out two weeks. He's definitely going to miss yeah. this week. I know that for sure. But, Jimmy, what have you seen from them? I know we, were talk we talked about them in the last NFL block. Ryan over here said that Kyle Shanahan might be on the hot seat, but I think that's changed a little bit. It has. It has. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, he did a good job to salvage that back, Jimmy. But what do you think from the 49ers this season? Well, they've won four of the last five games. In those four games, they are 48% on third down. That is astonishing. We've seen Elijah Mitchell take over that running back role. Brandon Ayuk is getting more incorporated in the offense. George Kittleson's coming back. We all know how talented and special he is. If they can get back to their defensive ways with Nick Bosa, this can be a contender in the playoffs. Ryan, close up. I agree with that. I think they do squeeze into the playoffs, and that could be a huge 3-6 uh, or 2-7 upset yeah. with all the weapons that they have. They are, I believe, right now the sixth seed. The Rams are sitting at the fifth seed. So it's going to be interesting to see those two. They, like you said, Mark, they do play again. Uh, but speaking of this, we talked about Kyle Shanahan, and we talked about the last time we were here, we talked about coaches on the hot seat. But let's flip that on the other side, and let's talk about coaches who are dominating the game at an elite level. Joe, we'll go to you. Who do you think the best coach in the NFL is this season? Well, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to go all the way to Arizona. I'm going to take a look at Cliff Kingsbury. I mean, he's the hot guy right now. The Cardinals are sitting 9-2 and two right now. Uh, personally, you know, they're, one of the, they're the best team right now in, in the NFC West. And listen, Kingsbury, he, since 2018, he's changed that defense from 32nd to top 10 in the NFL. Yeah. Okay? He's an offensive coach. Yeah. He, not only is he offensive, but he's changes teams around, especially when he did at college, when he coached at Houston and Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. So the Cardinals have a great guy in their coaching mm -hmm. staff. He's a great head coach, and I think they have a far chance in the playoffs. I do, too. They, and Kyler hasn't played in a while, and now they have DeAndre Hopkins. But when they get back, I yeah, think it's going to be – without both of them. Yeah, it's going to be a little scary. Colt McCollum's been doing okay. And it, 
is a backup quarterback. At most. A, a, a backup Jarvis. quarterback winning games. Not I think bad. He's a good backup. Look yeah. what he did with the Giants last year. They won to Seattle with him. Just, just, just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Jimmy, who you got for the best coach? I'm going to take it down to Tennessee. A former player of Bill Belichick, who was a great coach in his own right, Mike Vrabel. Give me him. He's a coach of the Tennessee Titans. Derek Henry is out. Julio Jones only played in six games this season. AJ Brown's also on the IR. A, a lot of key injuries on this team, and they still sit atop the AFC South. The next five games against. The Jaguars, Steelers, Niners, Dolphins, Texans, that's at least three wins to me. Yeah, I think, I th- I think so as well. You know, like with Vrabel, he's, look, he got them there a couple – once he, once he got there, you just saw the shift from the Titans organization. The players and, love him. Yeah, the, he's definitely a player's coach. Ryan, who do you have? The Kings stay the Kings. Bill Belichick is the coach of the – Oh, come on. <laughs> but yes, listen, Bill Belichick is the coach of the year. If he doesn't win, it's a fraud. They started two, they started two and four. They've won six straight. Mac Jones has developed incredibly. The defense has Belichick's fingerprints all over it, and it just proves that he is indeed the greatest coach, at least of this generation. And I do think that they have a good chance of being the Super Bowl, Super Bowl representative for the AFC. That's a bold take, Ryan, and I, I kind of agree with you because that team is really dangerous. It's crazy how everybody said, "Oh, Belichick's nothing without Brady." And look what happens yeah, the year yeah. he gets he gets one quarterback. He gets and Brady he, 2.0. And he, and he, and he, and he spent, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. And he spends some money. You see what too. happens with Belichick. Mark, close out. Who do you have for coach? So for Jimmy coach? talked a lot about the Titans injuries. I don't know if there's a team that's been as devastated by injuries as the Baltimore Ravens. And their coach, John Harbaugh, is my pick for best coach in the NFL. 17 players on IR. Those, some of those key names being Marcus Peters, Ronnie Stanley, J.K. Dobbins, and uh, Deshaun Elliott. Yeah. He's dealing with a lot, and he's got them as the number one seed in the AFC right now. I think that that's a phenomenal job coaching that team. Yeah, what are they on their fifth running back, I believe? Something like Something that. Something like that. Lamar's had to carry the team. And like you said, a lot of injuries on the defense, mm-hmm. a lot of injuries on the offensive line, everywhere for the Baltimore Ravens and Harbaugh's. Got them leading in the NFC in the AFC North. Gentlemen, we talked about great coaching that last question, and we're gonna see some great coaching <clears throat> Monday night when the Buffalo Bills take on the New England Patriots. It's gonna be a barn burner. This one is for the top of the AFC East. And look, this is a good one, Jimmy. Who do you have in this one? You know, I think it's gonna be a really tight matchup, but I'm going to take the New England Patriots. Josh Allen in five career games against the New England Patriots has thrown seven touchdowns and six interceptions with a two and three record. Bill Belichick, we know he does the young quarterbacks. I think the Patriots take over in the AFC East. Mark? I'm going with the Bills. You know, I think right now they're coming off a dominant Thanksgiving win over the New Orleans Saints, which has been an otherwise, you know, pretty good defense. Mm -hmm. I I just think that they're going to be able to counter what Bill Bill Belichick has for them this year. Right. It'd be weird if I didn't say the Pats after saying Bill Belichick <laughs> for the coach. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Pats in a very, very close game. They just have the hot hand, and the season's been about hot hands. Justin, another primetime game on Monday night. Uh, I'm going with the Bills. All right, listen, this is a big game for the AFC East, uh, especially for the Bills. They're in first place, but the Patriots have been very hot, which I do agree. But I think Josh Allen, especially Thanksgiving, their defense is still one of the top in the league despite some struggles. Yeah. But I think Josh Allen is going to have an explosive offensive game. They're going to find a way to – uh, expose that New England defense. But who do you rely on more, Bill Belichick or the Bills this season? I mean, listen, the Jaguars. I, right, I do agree with that. But listen, the, when the Bills are hot, right, we know how, how big that offense is. They're very powerful offensively. The air raid game, when Josh Allen throws over 270 yards, it's huge. All right, that offense could put up points. They blew out teams, over, almost, they put, they're putting up almost 30 something points almost every game. Well, since you guys had this as a tie, I think I'll break it. So, Tax is death and Bill Belichick. I'm taking the Patriots. I think it's easy just like that. that. That's respectful. <laughs> yeah. Well, we look forward to watching that game on Monday night. But coming up next, we will shoot some hoops with Justice and the NBA crew as they tell us which basketball team runs New York. And that's only here on WP Sports Desk. <laughs>